State Rams had a second chance at advancing in the Lone Star Conference Tournament, this time facing UT Permian Basin. Winner moves on, loser goes home, and we're going to start this one in the bottom of the second. Dax Dave on the mound, and Clayton Coates rocks this one into right field, and an error actually allowed him to advance to third. And it's going to set up the next batter. And you can tell he's still running. That's how, that's how bad of an error it was. And this is actually going to set up center fielder Clayton Matthews right here with an absolute rifle shot into the gap for the RBI single. This popped the cork on the scoring. 1-0 UTPB. Bottom of the fifth now. Same score. Third baseman Jabayan Benya with an RBI single up the middle, putting them up 2 to zero. This was Pena's only hit of the game, but it was a big one. A sack fly later in the inning put the Falcons up three to zero, and now we're in the top of the ninth. Down three, no outs, and Weston Valisic gets on base at a big moment. One on for the Rams now, and later he'll end up advancing to third, and I, that, but all was not lost because Ryder McDaniel right here, he's going to draw the biggest walk of the 2024 season for the Rams, putting runners on the corners. Two outs in the top of the ninth with the tying run at the plate, and and here's what happened next. Two strikes, two outs, runners on the corners. Johnston, runners goes. Ring them up, strike three. One of the nastiest curveballs you'll see to put the Rams away by a final score of three to zero. That took the Rams out of the Lone Star Conference Tournament. This was the first time in eight years that the Rams have been shut out in back to back games. And after the loss, Coach Brooks reflected on a scoreless week for his club. They did a good job. Um, again, you know, the don't play ball obviously uh, killed me today, killed us today. Um, and then, you know, uh, just not being able to drive in that run. You know, that was sort of the story of the two days for us. Now, the Rams will have their date in the D2 College World Championship later this month. As for the Sonora Broncos, though, when the lights were brightest, their boys golf team brought home their first ever golf state title and are now enjoying the fruits from their labor. Today, they signed their 2A state championship flags with the motto that carried them to the promised land, pressure makes diamonds. And speaking of diamonds, the fellas also got fitted for their championship rings and even spared us a minute to reflect on this season and what their favorite moment from this historic rise has been you know uh, I've always thought about it though and it's always been a dream of mine so I guess all the hard work can turn dreams into reality it was a blast and having them by my side was even better hopefully when I came up with the signature quote pressure makes diamonds and then went on to almost make a hole in one win the regional tournament the practice round was pretty great and then the moment we found out we won was just amazing the best feeling in the world and also, Angelo State is hosting the LSC Outdoor Championships, and that concludes tomorrow. First, we're going to take a look at the men's 1500. Texas A&M Kingsville won, but Mark Burden from the Rams came in third place with a time of five minutes and seven seconds. Burden also placed first in the decathlon. And lastly, Kylie Frush from the Ram Bells placed first in the long jump with a score of 5.72 meters. Well, that does it for sports at 6, but at 9, I'll have the exclusive Angelo State softball highlights and much more. Be sure to keep it here.